But as soon as I hit record, you're going to lay down. He has been sitting here harassing me. What do you want, Toby? What do you want? You want to play games? I get it. Okay. I've already been out and been swimming and playing in the pool. You're all wet. You're all wet. Ugh. Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. I am great talking softly. I have a different kind of video today. Not the normal vloggy type stuff that normally goes on where I'm, you know, running around doing stuff with the plants. I mentioned in last week's vlog that I hadn't been doing a ton in the garden lately. Been taking care of things, keeping the plants watered and some fertilizing and pruning and those sorts of things, weeding, you know, gardener stuff. Not really anything that's too terribly vlog worthy. I just haven't had much time because there's been something going on. Something very exciting going on, right, Toby? Yeah, you've just been loving your life, haven't you? I have someone I'd like you to meet. There he is, look at him. Just woke up from a nap. That's why I was talking softly because I didn't really want to wake him up, but he's a puppy. They're kind of hard to wake up. They wake up when they feel like waking up. I know, I know, hello, <laughs> I'm squatting down looking at the puppy. You need more attention, don't you? Knock me over, Toby. I can love you and your brother, it's possible. Yo, oh, good boy, that was a good sit. And actually, now that he's awake, it's time to go outside. Come on, come on, let's go outside. Come on, bud. Come on, Toby, you gotta come too, come on. Good boy. It's running very quickly. We have a rule. You sit before you go out the door. Any threshold, you sit and have to wait. Oh, he is still small enough <laughs> to pick him up to get him outside. And the lens is all fogged up. It is very warm and humid. So I'm going to take the puppy to the grass. Here you go. Good boy. Go potty. Take him to the grass. Let him do his thing and let the fog get off the lens here. There we go, that's a good boy. Okay, give him his privacy. We can talk about the puppy, maybe with a clearer lens. I've been dropping hints over the past couple of weeks, really the last several weeks, when going through and talking about some plant toxicity and some things I've been removing from the garden and trying to get certain things moved up higher. I know I've had this set out here for a while and then the baby gates, which are puppy gates, actually showed up in the kitchen and around the house. I've been seeing some things going on for the last few weeks that have been probably making it pretty obvious this is what was going on. I just wanted to have him for a few weeks before going in and introducing him to everybody, mostly just so I could, you know, talk about how he's been doing and what's going on with him and how he's fitting in with the other animals. He's so stinking cute. You're a cute little baby. I'm sure y'all heard me say his name. His name's Turbo. Probably all lab, but kind of hard to tell. I don't really care either. He's a very sweet dog. Very, very, very sweet and a quick learner. Potty training only took a couple of days. He figured that out fairly quickly. He still had a few accidents, but that's been my fault. Still learning how to communicate with each other and I wasn't picking up on what he was throwing out there when he was trying to let me know that he needed to go out. He hasn't been very destructive either, at least not yet. He has plenty of toys. They all go in a rotation. He does have some rope toys, which I know are something to be careful with with dogs. They came in like a puppy pack. So he only plays with those under supervision. Training with commands is going really well. Also, he sits, he's starting to lay down. Leash trainings, he's pretty good on a leash. But he's only about eight weeks old. So, you know, there's still, still plenty of time for lots of learning and he's picking up on things very, very quickly. <laughs> and he and Toby have been doing pretty well. The first several days, Toby was very cautious with him, which is fair because the first thing Turbo did when he met Toby was run underneath him and bite him right in the privates. So naturally, after something like that happens, it's gonna take some more time to warm up and get comfortable, but they're good now. Toby learned to find high ground when the puppy was bouncing around and being hyper, and then eventually Toby figured out that he can tell the puppy when he doesn't wanna play, and he did so very gently, very calmly, didn't hurt him, just made sure to put it out there and you know show a little bit of teeth and a little bit of growl say hey not right now leave me alone and turbo picked right up on that and they've been getting along great toby hey toby oh yeah that sun feels nice doesn't it toby i had the mister on for him and he moved out of the way of the mister so i don't think he appreciated it toby's a dog who's never ever shown aggression towards another animal period and whenever he's around puppies he gets nervous like he puts his tail between his legs and he runs away he just doesn't have the confidence like it feels like he thinks he's doing something wrong or is going to get in trouble when a puppy tries to play with him. 
But like I said, he's over that. Toby's getting lots of attention, lots of playtime with his humans and with the puppy. Now, the cats, that's a different story. They're adjusting. Look who it is. Hey, Pumpkin. You're okay. He's not in here. You're okay. I promise. It's your first time in the kitchen in a week. Oh, well, that was a short visit. Okay, bye, Pumpkin. She spent the majority of her time hiding upstairs. She was like, I don't, I see it and I don't want anything to do with it. But Pumpkin's been around a lot of dogs. Yeah, that got knocked over. Toby did that. Okay, I hear you. You need to go potty again? Let's go, come on. Go on, go to the grass. Yep, he was whining because I need to go potty. That's what I was saying before. He's learning to let me know when he needs to go, which is fantastic. That makes it so much easier. Because with the training before, it was every 30 minutes outside unless it was bedtime and he was in his crate. There we go. Let's go back into Turbo Town. There you go. There we go. Good boy. Yes, I referred to this large pinned and gated area as Turbo Town. That's what it is. Hanging out in Turbo Town. Oh, like I was saying though, Pumpkin, she's coming around. As of a few days ago, she's coming downstairs, doing her food and water, wanting to play. They have met a few times. She's keeping her distance. He followed her around. She turned around, hissed at him, and he pretty much just stays away now, watches her from a distance and she watches him from a distance. So they should be good together. I think what I was saying before he started let me know he needed to go potty was that um, Pumpkin's been around a lot of cats, not cats, a lot of dogs. So she comes around to him pretty easily, fairly quickly. He's been having his daily swim lessons in the pool. He's a great little swimmer. <laughs> important to teach him where the steps are and to get him comfortable with the water because you don't want him to fall into that pool and panic, right? He needs to be comfortable with the water. The parrots are pretty indifferent to him. They don't seem to care. They've been around a lot of dogs too and he's fairly indifferent to them as well. He doesn't seem interested and the parrots have their own door to their room. So just been keeping that shut if he's out roaming the kitchen. With oh, and the tortoise. He was indifferent to the tortoise until I had Colby out here. That's the tortoise wandering and he saw the tortoise moving fairly quickly and well, here's how that went. That had to be confusing for him because he had seen the tortoise throughout a bunch, but I think he just thought that that was a rock and he saw it moving and was like, um, excuse me, what the heck's going on here? That only lasted about 10 seconds. And then I went over and started petting the tortoise and got him to come over to sniff him and they're fine, <laughs> but they don't, <laughs> they don't have any unsupervised time together though. Why are you chewing on his eyeball? There's so many other spots on Toby you could get. Okay, and just so you know, those are the sounds Toby makes when he's getting ready to play. They're not his I'm upset and I'm sad sounds. He's a very noisy dog when he's playing. <laughs> kind of sounds like a seal. <laughs> and I should mention, the puppy has no unsupervised time, period. He's way too little. He's too little for that, so he's always being watched by someone or he's in his crate having a nap or sleeping at nighttime. The crate training's been going great. He loves his crate. The other night he got sleepy and just decided, you know what, I'm gonna go to bed. And he just walked himself right in there and went to sleep. Collar comes off when he goes in the crate. Nothing in the crate that he could tangle himself up and he's very safe. The way they play together melts my heart. It's very, very similar to how Toby played with Tucker when Toby was a puppy. He'd just crawl all over him, chew on him, and Tucker would be like, okay, go ahead and chew on me. <laughs> Such a sweet, gentle soul, Toby. Yes, yes you are. So Toby finally has a new brother. It bites a lot, but he doesn't bite hard. He's not nippy with me at all. For a couple of days, he kind of was, but it was pretty easy to teach him that that's not okay. And he stops, you say no, and he goes, okay, that's fine. And hand him a toy, redirect that energy. He's been a lot of fun been very time consuming from when you wake up in the morning to when you go to bed at night. It's training time and enrichment time and it's it's all about the puppy and then making time for the other pets as well. And that's why the plants have been 
basically a last priority. Like I said, keeping them alive, watering them, tittle, fertilizing, pruning, the, those sorts of things. But you know, the living animals, they come first. And the training is so important, period, with a young dog, but especially the first few weeks that you have them. Because that's bonding time, it's learning time. It's when you want to get those wheels moving and teach them about the routines and everything. <laughs> You don't have to let him bite your ear if you don't want to. You have to teach him how to speak dog, Toby. That's important. Teach him how to speak dog. He's under a very good influence too, as far as dogs go. So like I said, Toby is a very sweet, gentle soul. Doesn't go after our animals, doesn't go after people. I only put Toby on a leash when I'm outside as a formality because it's the law, but he stays right by my side. And sometimes his leash pops off. And when his leash pops off, he sits right down. He's like, okay, come back, put it on me. Not supposed to be out here free ranging. I ain't no free range chicken. As I mentioned, he's a quick learner, so the, he hasn't been bugging with the plants. Occasionally he'll put his mouth on one. I say no when he goes, oh, sorry, drops it and moves on from there. But he's just so young that it's been important to me to anything that was super, super toxic, like the, uh, uh, what, the sago palm that's gone or just moved. I moved it to the driveway and put it up high where you can't get to it. Same thing with the oleanders, the brugmansias, the, uh, what are they, the angel trumpets. Getting everything out of the yard that's toxic would be uh, pretty, um, I'd have to dig up most of the garden. You know, most plants, if you look them up, they pose a risk to dogs and cats. The majority of plants can, well, at least cause some sort of mouth irritation. And that's mostly what's left out here. And for the most part, He's leaving everything alone, so I'm not that concerned. And that's largely because he's always under supervision. It's probably not going to be until next summer that I'll just let him roam the backyard without being watched. I'm out here all the time. So he's outside all the time. He's learning quickly and then have the pin set up for him when I just need a break. I wanted to make sure that that was clear. The pin's a temporary thing, just for a few months, so that I have a space where I can sit and interact with him outside and not freak out about if I look away for 10 seconds that he might grab a plant and tear it up and run off with it. It's a very large pin too. It's actually, it's going to get me even bigger here pretty soon probably because I finally found a cabinet to go over here. If you're just watching this for the puppy, then you have no idea what I'm talking about. This whole area is getting redone. That tiki bar is broken. It's going to go. I have a cabinet that's going to go back there to put all the stuff in it that's, well, that's right here. And that's in that tiki bar. And then I'm going to expand this area back into there so he's gonna have even more space but he gets the whole backyard most of the time this is just like i said it's for when i'm out here sitting and chilling yeah he wears he out doesn't he toby me too it's been a long couple of weeks a very very fun couple of weeks there's no kind of tired that's better than being tired because you've been playing with a puppy all day long and the camera is about to overheat well that's basically it anyways i just wanted to introduce y'all to the puppy so you can meet him here's turbo the name just, it's just what happened. All the names I was thinking of was like, I either know somebody with that name or uh, have had a pet with that name, you know, so like, well, Turbo, that works. It's a cute name. He's a sweetheart, been an angel and a joy of a puppy. Like I said, training's going well. It's a full-time job, but well worth it. And now that y'all know he's here, I don't have to poke around with the camera and try and hide all this stuff, which is fantastic because that was not fun. Oh, and as we go on throughout the season, you will see plants that you go, oh, those are toxic. Like the Vinca, they're toxic. I need to move those still. Dracaena, there's still going to be tons of them. Like I said, it was this stuff where it's like, okay, that's going to kill him. Get it out of here. So a few things I need to move. As I mentioned though, he's never unsupervised and uh, he doesn't really seem interested in the plants anyways. Just kind of walks right past them. He's learned very quickly that when he feels like chewing on something that if it's not a toy, someone's going to say no and hand him a toy. So he's already picked up on going to his toys. Lots of fun toys at the house, aren't there, Toby? Toby doesn't care about toys. You don't care about toys. You like towels and blankets. Those are Toby's thing. He's so happy. Toby's just been glowing the past few days. It's so nice having a little brother in a Toby. Yeah, you love your little brother, too. Uh, a couple of sweethearts here. So there it is. There's Turbo. I'm sure he would say nice to meet you if he could. Thanks for hanging out. We get to play with the puppy. There'll be more puppy time. I just happened to pick up the camera when he's pretty sleepy. It's usually between noon and two. Those are his sleepy times. Sometimes 11 to five. It just depends on the day. He gets up around six, plays until about noon. Then usually he gets sleepy for a few hours and then wakes up, plays for a few more hours, gets dinner, plays for a few more hours and goes to sleep. I say plays loosely. Plays meaning, well, toys and lots and lots 
and lots of training. I can't even see your head. I hope everybody's doing well, having a great day and a great life and everything's just going absolutely beautifully for you. It's been a long several months since Tucker passed away, you know, back in December, but had to wait, make sure we're all healed and we're feeling better about things before bringing another dog into the house. That way the dog can get all the love and attention it deserves and not have to, you know, they feed off of energy. Didn't want to get a dog when there was still a lot of sorrow. He wouldn't know why. He wouldn't understand that. That's not fair to him. He laid in, like, the hardest spot for me to get the camera to. You can kind of see him better now. He's sleepy. Sleepy, sleepy puppy. Oh, comment down below. Say hi. I love talking to everybody. How's life going? Things are nice and hot. It's very hot here. That summer heat's really been kicking. Which is why there's a shady area, a splash pool, a mister, and he swims in the pool. He's okay, don't worry. Like I said, he's never out here unsupervised. Ever. Never, ever unsupervised. <laughs> it is pretty warm though. I'm gonna take him inside, get some rest. I'm gonna enjoy the weekend playing with my puppy, and then hopefully maybe get some work done over here with this mess next week and Get back to doing some planting and some things. I have some new plants I want to show everybody. Of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, <laughs> keep on growing. Turbo. Turbo. <whistles> Turbo. Bye-bye. <laughs>